What if I told you there is a way to turn your literature chaos in a beautiful organized literature system? In this video, I'll show you how you can use Notebook LM and Notion to create a beautiful, easy, effortless literature workflow. We'll do smart tagging, AI summaries, and a structure that makes writing your review a breeze. By the end of this video, you'll have a complete system for organizing your research, analyzing papers, and synthesizing findings, all while letting AI I do the heavy lifting. So hey, I'm Ainur, I'm a third year PhD student in chemical engineering at Imperial College London and I made it my mission to teach you every secret I know in academia. So let's dive right into the video. A good literature review requires finding relevant text, knowing how to read efficiently, how to extract data efficiently and how to like put it together into a well-written summary. So when you've collected enough papers, you have to read them. You should skim them with a purpose. You're going to look whether these papers are good enough to be put onto the pile of useful papers or whether you want to discard them. So usually what you do is you read the title, you read the abstract. If it still fits to your need, you're then going to go and skim through the results and the conclusion, maybe look at one or two figures within the paper, and then you're going to decide useful or not useful. If it's useful, save it. If not, we move on to the next paper. So now the question is, is how can AI and specifically Notebook LM and Notion help you during that process. So we're first going to start with Notion. Notion is there to build a strong literature database for you, okay? So ideally, that's going to be the place where you dump in all your literature, all the files, all your notes, anything that you extracted from that paper that's useful. And by the end of your literature review, you'll then have like a great and extensive Notion database. And from that, you can then profit because Notion also has AI features you can base basically ask Notion to then create a literature review based on the notes that you provided already. So with a strong foundation like this, your literature review will basically write itself. So for that in your Notion database, you can create a database with lots of different segments. For example, you can add in things like the basic stuff, like date of publishment, journal, author, these kind of things. But then even more importantly, in the notes section, you can, you have to take important notes, like where does, what does it contribute to which area of your research does it belong to? What is the methodology used? What are the results? What future work do they suggest? You have to like come up with your own questions, things that you want to answer by reading these papers. What are you looking for in your literature review? And then paper by paper, you're going to fill in these gaps. I've got an entire video on how you can set up your Notion template by yourself. So you can watch that video or you can just use the link in the description box to basically download download uh, my Notion Literature Review Guide. So either way, uh, you can either do it yourself or just get the guide. And with that Notion database, you then have the tools to basically structure your notes on that literature. So that's cool. But this would also mean a lot of work, right? Because you have to like, after finding all that, all these papers, you have to like read them just to extract a few information out of them, right? And this is where Notebook LM comes in handy. So Notion is for free because you get an educational license as a student. And then Notebook LM is also a free tool. And what it does is you can upload as many papers as you want to Notebook LM. You upload them and then you're going to paste the questions that you thought about, the things that you want to extract from these papers. You're going to paste that to Notebook LM as well. And you're going to ask it to extract all these things for every single paper and create a table, an overview table for you that you can then easily download. So then it's going to do exactly that. And this table you're then just going to import into uh, your Notion database because Notebook LM does not save these results and uh, it's not going to be long lasting if you just keep it in your Notebook LM a sheet. So you're going to paste that into your Notion database. And basically, yeah, this is a shortcut to your literature review. Now, one thing important here is you always have to think about what's the mission behind this literature review. Is it to collect data, find a gap? For example, at the stage I'm in right now, I already did the hard work because I'm almost three years into my PhD. And I already did the hard work of understanding the background, the, the theory, the methodology behind my research problem. Okay? 
okay? Like literally in these three years, I've learned so, so much. So whenever I do a literature review right now on my PhD thesis, it's always about things that I already know, but things that I need to extract from papers, okay? Like, for example, I'm interested in if there are 10 different research papers that did the same experiment, I just want to figure out what parameters did they tuned, okay? Like what are the range of experiments that they did? So instead of reading that myself and extracting it manually, I can use Notebook LM and it'll just do that for me. So not reading that paper won't necessarily uh, make me understand my research problem less because I already understood it, you know? So um, if that's the case, it's great. Now, if you're in the beginnings of your research and you still have to do the hard work of like really breaking through and understanding that, obviously you can't get away with not reading papers. At some point you really have to do that and you have to read and understand and work these things out yourself. So I think a healthy balance is important. Depending on what you're looking for, uh, you'll get it. But Notebook LM, I just want to say this, does not hallucinate like a ChatGPT does. So it only uses the information it has from the papers and it also always gives the source the exact paragraph it got this information from. So when you hover over these um, circles, you'll see where it's gotten the information from. So it's really very reliable, I found like from my expertise and very useful. So yeah, like this dream duo, like setting up your database or just template from the description box and then uh, using Notebook LM to extract the key findings and then plug that into your Notion database and then use Notion AI to <laughs> write your literature review based on the stuff that you provided in your database. That's going to bootstrap your literature review. I think that's going to be a very, very solid way to get it done. And bonus tip, if you need help in finding literature, because that's something where I said, okay, you have to do it yourself, uh, you can uh, check out futurehouse.org. They have a tool called Falcon in their platforms. And with Falcon, Falcon does also like deep search and finds um, lots of relevant literature in, in that suits your research question. So you can also do that, get your literature list and first in key insights into that research problem through Falcon and then move on to like downloading these papers, finding more papers and so on. Um, yeah, all right. So I hope you found this video useful. These tools are very useful and all the tools I mentioned are free for you to use. So make the best out of them. And if you found this video useful, share it with a colleague and someone who will need this, like it, leave a comment, subscribe to this channel. And other than that, I hope uh, I'll see you in the next video. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye.